Hey everybody, another night, another movie, and I just got done watching 1998's The Truman Show, starring Jim Carrey, Ed Harris, Laura Linney, and Noah Emmerich. Uh, this one I've seen a good number of times before. Uh, I didn't see it at the cinema, but I loan, I remember, I think my first experience watching it was I borrowed it on VHS from the local library. Uh, yes, VHSs, remember those? Uh, that was my first uh, experience of watching it. And I remember I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and then the second time I remember watching it, I didn't think much, so much of it. And I've had a kind of love-hate relationship with it since. Uh, I know many people put this movie down, but to this day, even after this watching, I still enjoy it. Um, for those who don't know, it tells a tale of Truman Burbank. Burbank, sorry, not Birdbank. <laughs> Truman Burbank, played by Jim Carrey, who it turns out is essentially his whole life, since his birth, has been broadcast on TV. And everyone around him are actors. Uh, situations are set up, you know, they like pick a pick a wife for him and, and a friend for him and and nothing's really real uh, and it's through a confluence uh, of events that he starts to realise that something's not quite right in his world uh, and uh, you know there's a, a, a light, a, a, a studio light that falls from the sky uh, there's um, uh, radio interference where he hears like the directors and that like organizing all the actors where they need to be and stuff uh, it's and there's also a girl that he really liked at school uh, who he was not allowed to be set up with and she originally kind of planted that seed that it was all fake uh, uh, even though there were people even when he was a kid kind of it's on TV um, but yeah, it's basically watching as he starts to realise, you know, what's going on and he starts to question everything and uh, he, you know, makes this uh, fight to escape uh, and it's a big, it's a really good, you know, you can look at it as entertainment or you can look at it, you know, philosophically and it's interesting, you know, with Jim Carrey in it because... Uh, up to this point, he hadn't really done any serious roles. It all been Ace Ventura and uh, Dumb and Dumber and, and stuff like that. Uh, so this was one of his first serious roles. And I think, much like, say, Robin Williams, uh, which is interesting because this is directed by Peter Weir, who also directed uh, Dead Poets Society, um, which I think was one of the first serious roles, really, that I remember seeing Robin Williams in. Uh, but I think it works having a comedian this, in this role. Now, although, I mean, Carey's proven himself with much darker roles like Number 23, etc., and, and uh, Eternal Sunshine, etc., since then. Uh, but this needs that lightheartedness. He has that. You know, there's that lovable element about him where he's jokey, but it's not like laugh out loud. It's just that bouncy kind of guy that you really would like to be friends with and hang out with. Uh, and and you need that in this role because if it was somebody who was too eccentric comedically, it wouldn't work. Uh, but then you can go too serious and that wouldn't have worked. So I think he really, really balances the levels really well in this uh and you know everybody else around him is is really well acted and uh laura linney as uh, the wife uh, the chosen wife if you will uh as you see her trying to struggling really really badly to be a good wife but you know slowly unraveling as uh, she's getting more and more fed up with being with truman uh, is always fun to see. Uh, and Noah Emmerich as the uh, friend. Uh, it, 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 you feel like he's friends with Truman, but at the same time, you know, you, you, you can sense that, uh, you know, while they're all being, like, directed and that by uh, Ed Harris's character, um, 
it's 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 really well done and and I love you know there's nothing that necessarily stands out about this it's you know it's one of those movies the first time I watched it even I got paranoid uh, this is not one for people who suffer with paranoia I tell you that much because you do start to question your existence and I guess in a way we are all players on a stage you know it's that age-old line isn't it and and I guess the idea is that you need to try and be more spontaneous you know spontaneous keep people on their toes and stuff like that and maybe even question your existence and, and what you're doing in this life. And oh my god, we've gotten far too philosophical within the last couple of days, haven't we? I'm so sorry. <laughs> but no, it's it's really light-hearted. Uh, like I say, you can look as deeply into it as you want. But at the end of the day, it's a good... What is this, PG rated? Yeah, it's a good... I wouldn't say it's a family movie, uh, but it's a good, non-offensive movie, uh, enjoyable, not laugh out loud funny, but you really feel for the character. Uh, it's if you're after a good kind of light-hearted drama, which kind of sounds like a, a complete contradiction, but uh, it is that kind of thing. So, uh, and if you're after like one of Jim Carrey's like less bouncing off the wall rolls, uh, this would be the one to go for. Uh, also, love seeing Natasha McKellen, um, who I know out of Californication, uh, but uh, it's fun to see her, you know, a younger version of her in this. Uh, I've seen her in other roles, but uh, I didn't remember her being this and uh, being in this when like I first saw Californication. And then when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's Karen. Oh, so that was uh, kind of funny to, you know, real dawning realisation. Uh, but yeah, no, please, if you get the chance, uh, if you haven't added this to your collection already, uh, do check out. It's a, it's only an hour and 35 minutes long, so it's not even that long. Um, that's 1998's The Truman Show. Uh, that was our movie for tonight. We'll be back again tomorrow, as always. Uh, thank you so much, everybody that watches, uh, especially those who comment, like uh, Hannah Mack and uh, John Quintero. Uh, and if I've missed anybody else out, of course, you know, May to December, but he knows like, I keep thanking him. But uh, also him uh, and anybody else who comments, please, uh, I can't express my gratitude enough. Uh, especially those that share their thoughts on, on the movies. Uh, but um, please like and subscribe if you get the chance. Uh, please share your thoughts on this and, you know, your thoughts on, like, Carey regarding his comedic and serious roles. I'd uh, be really interested to see what you think, you know, whether this was the right path for him to start following kind of thing. Uh, you know, so he didn't get too pigeonholed. Um, but otherwise, guys, we'll be back tomorrow as always. Fernando, this is Sketch. Sign it out. <laughs>